I'm done for the day. Here's how my account looks like. Uh, I've done well in Apple, very small size, AVGO, over two grand. Netflix was great. Nvidia was very nice, small winner in PGR. I'm going to finish my day up almost five grand. That's a fantastic day for a day that started without a lot of candidates. So I did not have many candidates to start with. Actually, none. I can't remember the last time I posted none. And we did find plenty. So let's go through some of our trades today. Just a short recap. We had Apple under 220. So Apple, as you can see, started down, continued down, and then moved up. And then why did we decide, why did I decide to short it under 220? Well, the reason for that was mainly because of the Nasdaq. If you watch the Nasdaq, at that point of day, when that happened, we were at this point. We closed the gap. So the Nasdaq started with a gap down, came down just like Apple, and Apple is known to move with the market. And then, as you can see, Nasdaq came up, closed the gap. At the point where the gap is closed, the, the market, or in this case, the Nasdaq, is likely to bounce down. And that's what happened. So I was watching the Nasdaq, and I was saying to myself, oh, well, gap is closed, it should bounce down. Watching Apple, Apple just had a nice technical formation at under 220 here. Posted Apple under 220, that's a whole number. Tried to move higher, failed, came down. That was a beautiful technical formation here to go short, although it was trending higher. But although it was trending higher, I liked it, of course, small size, because um, the Nasdaq at that point was closing the gap. So you see, you need to combine everything if you want to make a decision to... Um, uh, to trade a stock. You just need to combine everything, market direction, everything needs to be combined. Now let's do, take a look at some of the other trades. AVGO. AVGO was posted in the trading room under 290. Now if you go back to 290, that's a beautiful technical formation. Can't argue with that. So originally, I was thinking about shorting AVGO here under 290. Very, very happy to see that it moved up came down again to 290. At that point, I was still interested, even more interested, and I raised my size. You know, when you start thinking about whether you're going to take a trade or not, and, you know, AVGO is down right now, what's, uh, hold on a second, let me check, uh, 4%. Uh, so, trending lower, looks like it has nice downside momentum. It did continue moving down, beautiful trade. Anyway, you, you, you think about taking a trade like that, that would be very high risk trade. It's a $290 stock and it's very, very risky. And the fact that it pulled back up, comes down, you could raise your size. Pulls back up again, comes down once more, raise your size even more. Still, it was a ridiculous number of shares, although it was my best winner because it gave me several points. So I was doing the math here knowing exactly what I risk and what would be my target. I was risking approximately two points, took my partial at approximately the same. So AVGO worked out nicely. Beautiful downtrend, nice technical formation. And again, pullback, raise quantity. Pullback, raise quantity. Stocks are not behaving the same way. And when you have a better trade than you anticipated, like the second one would be better, the third one would be better, you should raise your size even slightly, intending on shorting 400 shares, maybe go up to 500, I mean AVGO, maybe 100 to 200, maybe 200 to 250, whatever. Just raise your size even slightly, 200, add 50 shares. Why? Because you've got yourself a better technical formation, and that's what happened with AVGO. Now, let's take a look at the rest, uh, NVIDIA. And the video was posted in the room under 181. That was also a beautiful technical formation right over here. Started with a gap down. It's down, six, it's down what? Sorry. It's down 1.6%. Started with a gap down. Tried to move higher. Failed. Entry point was here. Worked out nicely. Gave us plenty of time for a partial. But then moved sideways. I was asked again earlier whether I should, I think we should short it. I can't remember exactly where and I said no. Why? Because big company, it's down already quite a lot. I don't trust NVIDIA to continue and it didn't quite continue. So glad we had a partial there and uh, that worked out <coughs> fine. My only long today was Netflix. I've got five trades today, all green. Beautiful. It was my only long trade today and that was posted over 292 and look at that this is where we uh, 
when we really nailed it right here at 292. Now you can't argue with Netflix today. The stock is up 2.4%. Of course, it wasn't that when we took it over 1% right over here. Stock was trending higher very, very clearly. Nice technical formation, nice reversal here. Uh, took off amazingly well, amazingly well. Almost four points right over here. So that was a beautiful trade in Netflix and um, worked out nicely. Uh, PGR was my last trade, was posted by one of our YouTube members. That was short under 72.30. It took me some time to make a decision to move in. It was right over here, I believe, 72.30. Yes, the loss was 26 or so. I assumed that once it's going to come down under 30, sorry, yeah, I assume that once it's going to come down under 30, and I was right, it's going to trigger and move down, and it did. So that was a beautiful trade, beautiful downside momentum. At that point, when I was watching PGR, which is already down 6%, I was thinking, well, it has the momentum. Beautiful downtrend, almost no pullbacks. I mean, of course, there were some pullbacks, but behaved very nicely. I saw that there could be more opportunity for short. Plus, volume's great. It's right now 3.3 million shares. So, look like it can and should continue. Just a quick, um, and that was my last trade today. And again, five trades, all green. Beautiful, beautiful day. Really beautiful day. I'm out of everything. Just a quick look at the S&P 500 because, as I mentioned earlier, when we talked about the Nasdaq, I mentioned that... Um, at the point where it closed the gap, I anticipated it's going to come down. Now, look at the S&P 500, also mentioned that in the room. Once it closed the gap, you see, that was yesterday's close right here. So, at that point where it closed the gap, exactly at the point where it closed the gap, you see a nice doji that means a possible reversal. You add to the fact that uh, the S&P was at that point at the point where it closed the gap. Therefore, you anticipate a pullback. How far would it go? I don't know. Will it move over the highs? I don't know. But it is a Friday, and Fridays are usually not big moving days. I can see the Nasdaq now is at the highs. The S&P is close to the highs. So maybe we're going to continue. If you look at uh, the daily, we're moving up recently. We're not looking back and uh, just about to move into, uh, looks like, a beautiful potential breakout formation on the daily. Um, so S&P is looking really magnificent. So that's it for me today. I had a great Friday and a great week. I had one losing day that was yesterday, down $1,000, but several, over a few thousand dollars winner, winning days and really enjoyed my trading week. Very nice green week. Hope you guys enjoyed too. Looking forward to see you today in the session, session that we have that regards the uh, World Series of Day Traders. Get some tips from us. And um, that would be 3.15 today. Have a great weekend, traders. Those of you who I don't see this evening, of course, have a great weekend. And I'm um, looking forward to see you next week in the trading room. Have fun. Bye. Thank you for watching our video. Before you go, we invite you to join the TradeNet trading room for a free 14-day trial. TradeNet has educated more than 30,000 professional traders worldwide since 2004, and its trading room is one of the world's leading trading communities. Click here to start your free trial. If you like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel where you can view many more stock trading videos. Questions or comments, please submit them below.